let's talk about S3 bucket key. I mentioned it prior when we we're talking about SSE hyphen S3 and SSE hyphen KMS. This is a security feature, it has nothing to do with object keys. It's just they both happen to have the word key in the name. So when you use SSE KMS, an individual data key is used on every object request. And so in this case, uh, S3 is going to have to call AWS KMS every time to get that key. Um, KMS charges on the number of requests, so this charge can add up at volume. Might not be an issue uh, for everybody, but definitely can be uh, an issue at scale. So the S3 bucket key lets you generate a short-lived bucket level key from, from the AWS key that is temporarily stored in S3. Uh, this will reduce the co request cost by uh, up to 99%. This will decrease the request traffic and uh, improve overall performance. What confuses me about S3 bucket keys is that you can apply them both to SSE-KMS and SSE-S3. And SSE-S3 is free to use. So you're not gonna get any cost saving with SSE-S3, but maybe you get an, an, an improved performance because if SSE-S3 is using KMS underneath, maybe they have like a managed globally key for everybody, I don't know. But um, uh, I guess the only advantage of using with SSE-S3 is to reduce or improve traffic performance overall. But the way it's gonna work is when we apply a, a encryption at the bucket level, which is something we can do, you saw that we were applying it at the object level, but you can just say globally, hey, I want to always use with this, um, uh, uh, the default encryption to use this KMS key, but we can specify bucket key enabled, so always use a bucket key. Um, so a few other things, a unique bucket level key is generated for each requester. So it's not going to be for the entire bucket for everything, but it will be for the entire bucket per requester, so unique requester. You can enable bucket key at the bucket level to apply all new objects. That's what we are showing in that example in the S3 API. You can enable bucket key at the object level for only specific objects. I didn't show that because we show a lot of object specific stuff in uh, a lot of other slides. S3 bucket key can be enabled for S3, SSE S3 and SSE KMS. And again, this makes more sense for SSE KMS, if it's a cost reason, if it's just a performance reason, then maybe SSE S3 can benefit from this, okay?